In all of mine and many other presets you'll see in Betaflight, there's an option for RPM filtering. As you can see on my presets, it's right here, along with these different other filter types. The intent is that you pick one of these filter types, either the low build quality, medium build quality, or high build quality, and then also as an option, you can enable the RPM filter. What it does is when you enable that, it turns on bi-directional D-shot here in your motors tab, and it also enables gyro RPM filter right here in your PIDs filter settings tab. Now with both those things enabled, Betaflight can track the rotational speed of your motors, the RPMs, and then set a notch filter right on the frequency. As you can see in this animation, as your motors spin, they will cause vibrations that your gyro will pick up. And each beat of the motor, essentially one full revolution, generally has one oscillation. And then you can have up to four of those for the four different motors. Betaflight has two different filter types, low pass filters and notch filters. This graphic would represent the amplitude of one of those vibrations you see in here. So a one was the full amplitude, a 0.5 is half the amplitude, a zero is it completely smooths out the line. You can see the characteristic of a low pass filter here in this pink line, and you can see the characteristic of a notch filter here in this magenta line. Now, since we know the RPM of the motor, we can simply put that into Hertz. Hertz is simply the number of oscillations per second. So if you take the RPM divided by 60, that gives you the number of oscillations per second. Notch filters are basically target on that. You can see up top here, the motor frequency in Hertz. So we can target where the center of this notch filter goes based on just knowing the RPM of each motor. You can also see down here, right at the center of the notch filter, it is taking the amplitude of any vibration and completely crushing that down to zero so it will completely smooth out any vibration that's there which low pass filters honestly never do so you can see right here this is actually never gets to zero so low pass filters are good for generally reducing noise level uh, from ambient vibrations and things of that nature but when you have specific vibrations at specific frequencies that's where NOS filters save the day so at the end of the day the rpm filter is the motor vibration filter it will completely crush out any vibrations that you have coming off your motors or your props and it's getting that all through the bi-directional d-shot signal which relays the rpm of each motor back and the rpm filter sets a notch for each motor at this specific frequency based on what each motor's rotation is so generally it is advised to use the rpm filter especially if you're racing or using turtle mode a lot you can get a lot of dinged up props and things of that nature which will then increase the amount of vibrations coming off of your motor because it'd be off balance on my presets with it enabled or disabled it makes other adjustment in the filters to kind of compensate for the filter strength so if you do want to try it disabled you may in see increased uh, prop wash performance because it is a little leaner on the amount of filtering uh, but if you enable that rpm filter it is going to be a little bit more protective uh, again against dinged up or bent up props props that are off balance or motor bells that get off balance as well with picking rpm filtering or dynamic idle you do need to make sure your esc firmware is not really really old that it does support bi-directional d-shot in the last few years that's two three years all the firmwares have been updated to support uh, bi-directional G-Shot, that includes BL Heli 32, BL Heli S, Blue J firmware, and so on and so forth. So do make sure that your firmware is not super old, but with that, there is a message here that if you are enabling for the first time and you're not sure if your quad supports bi-directional D-Shot, just make sure your props are off first um, before you do a, a test arm just to make sure everything's in order. And then I'm sure it will be fine, but uh, yeah, props off, do a little test arm, make sure it's all good, and then go from there. If you are interested in checking out a comparison of some flights with the RPM filter on or off in my presets, I have it linked right here to that video, or I'll make a card to it here in the upper left. Thanks, everybody, and I hope this helps.